The weekend's almost here, just a few hours away. Joining us once again with his list of the top events around town, Michael Giuliano, editor at Time Out Los Angeles. Good to be here. We're so excited, as always, on a Friday to look ahead to the weekend. Yeah, thanks so, for having me back. So, um, top of the list, the zoo, the LA Zoo. Yeah. Getting up the summer night vibe. So, Zoo Friday Nights, this is the return of kind of an old favorite. Uh, some people might be familiar with Roaring Nights at the zoo. This yeah. was an adults only after hours event. Well, now you have uh, Zoo Friday Nights, which is basically the same thing, but family friendly. Uh, so, it's a way to explore the grounds of the zoo, uh, as they put it, you know, when there's less sun and more fun. Right. Um, and it really, just like, it's a great way to walk the grounds. They'll have live music and DJs playing. Uh, the lineup changes each night, too. I should say this is every Friday night this month, so if you can't make it tonight, um, you'll have other opportunities. I love that. Um, and, yeah, you can go for a ride on the carousel. It's just it's a great way to, if you've never been or if you go well, all the time. Well, the animals time, come alive at night. They're some of them, so more it, energetic sometimes. There maybe yeah. should be a slight caveat that, like, some of them will be getting Not ready for sleepy out. time. <laughs> right. But true. some of them, you're absolutely right. right. Like, a, a lot of the animals will still totally be out. Um, yeah. And, yeah, you'll be able to see them up close. And just a different um, look. To For the sure. Zoo. So I, I'm excited about that, and the kids are always hyper. So why not? Go wear them out <laughs> at the zoo at, after hours. Um, okay. Now let's talk about uh, the next, the boardwalk. Yeah. The big so, event happening. So okay. Technically, this is a promotional event sure. between American Express and Resi, but it's, they're putting together an amazing food lineup for this tasting event at the Santa Monica Pier. Basically, they're bringing together a dozen different vendors, amazing different food vendors in L.A. for a, a boardwalk-inspired tasting event. But right? anyone can go, even though anyone, they're saying yes. it's... You know, for yeah. certain you'll you'll need to holders. buy a ticket. It's it's seventy five dollars, but that includes um, tastings from twelve different spots. So very summery things like uh, clam pizza from Pizzana, uh, ceviche tostadas from Galagetza, lobster rolls from Angler. Uh, just like everything you would want from a boardwalk food You didn't fest. bring in any samples. That's I'm what we were sorry, all upset don't, about. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> and okay. alcohol. I, was, that also includes, there, I think, alcohol, too. I think you can add on drinks. Add on um, your drinks. But there is so. all sorts of other fun yep. side things to do. There's a, there's a milk bar and, yeah. dunking tank, <laughs> uh, a Shake Shack ring toss. There you so, go. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Um, the Lotus Festival, what's that all about? Yeah, well, despite its name, you actually might not see many lotuses. <laughs> um, this is a celebration at Echo Park Lake, you know, of its annual lotus bloom. Um, but really the main part of this long running fest is to celebrate the different um, Asian communities in Los Angeles. So each year it focuses on a different community. This year it's India. Um, and so basically on Saturday and Sunday, you can expect a free festival set up around the park with all sorts of food, artwork. Um, a sort of ceremonial yeah. aspect to it. Uh, there's there's lantern launches, there's dragon Beautiful. boat races, and like a lot of things I've talked about on yeah. this show, it was virtual for the past two years, so, and so it's back in yeah. person this weekend. So really exciting to have it once again. And we all like free. Speaking of free, also making a comeback, the Ciclavia. Yeah, this is the beloved car-free, bike and pedestrian friendly event. Um, they're back for four events this year, uh, and this first one up this summer is in South LA. So they have a three mile route along Western. Uh, it starts along the uh, Western and Expo stop on the Metro mm -hmm. and goes all the way down to Florence. And you'll find about three different hubs along, along the way where you can rent a bike, learn about different community organizations. It's a great way to check out yeah. just things in the area that you might not have experienced before. I'll also say, you know, we were talking about, or you were talking about the bridge just before. Yeah. This is going on the same time as another Open Streets event. Uh, the new 6th Street Viaduct yep. will be closed off to car traffic on uh, Sunday morning as well. So you can kind of take your pick between two <laughs> right. car-free, bike-friendly events. An up-close look. Yeah. All right, Michael, good stuff as always. Thank you again. Happy Friday. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, and for more information, if you want any more of those details that Michael just talked about about those events from Time Out Los Angeles, go to KCAL9.com and click on Scene on TV.